What's up, guys? Welcome back. Paul Pogba today, the Juve player, currently Juve, right? Juve in France. So I'm on a landscape page. Use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So big smile, very thin eyes, head sort of leaning back. He always like in his in his profile pictures kind of like leans his head back and sticks out his chin kind of thing. So let's give it a go. Center point to my page about here. Come up over to the right, and we'll start with his eyes. Very thin, smiling eyes, okay? Like, really thin. Okay, so we'll go, we do this sort of curved line, right? That comes up and over the top. Right? And we do have some eyelashes sticking out down here. Very small, but they are there. So maybe coming up here as well. And then he's got like wrinkles on the sides of his eyes, but it's because he's smiling, you know, he's got these smiling eyes. So kind of like that, right? And then the bottom, the bottom eyelid, right? The white of his eye, it's very thin. You can barely see it just curves around here. And just goes into this corner. And then his iris, he just has, he's really dark eyes. So they're pretty much black inside here. They're really dark brown, but to us, they just look black, right? So what I'll do is we'll leave two highlights. So we'll just draw a circle and another circle, right? And then you just color around it black. And you could color it black first and then add white paint. But, you know, it's up to you. Okay. And then we have some bottom eyelash lines, very light, sort of dots and dashes just along here. Here's a top eyelid line, just coming across the top of the eye, down the back, sort of curves around. Got some smiling wrinkle lines just on his eye here. And then underneath the eye, we have like bags underneath his eyes as well. And like a line for his nose. It's like his cheek and his nose under there as well. So then his eyebrow, so we've got like a line for the inside of the nose here first. So it like kind of curves down here. And then the eyebrow is just above that. I mean, they're dark black, kind of hairy at the start, and then they just come over. Relatively big eyebrows, like so. Put up maybe another eyelid line just here. Okay, so we go over and do the other eye. Same thing again. So eye width across. Me measure his eye. And that'll fit in between both of his eyes, maybe even a little bit more, right? So we're starting about here. So you, the main thing is you can fit a full eye in between both of his eyes. So here to here can fit in here pretty easily. And then we will curve a line over again. So very small, skinny eye. 
and this is going to be eyelashes again here and then the bottom of that eye just a slit of an eye what does he see <laughs> right and then iris there the cellulars here and then again we just have two highlights you could do one if you wanted there's two in the picture I'm drawing from. Okay, top eyelid line. underneath his eyes again and like a nose line somewhere here do 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 So his eyebrow up here, and on this eyebrow we've got he's got like a chunk taken out of it, so it's like shaved somewhere here, right? So you leave just a gap, and then go down. Okay, so that's his eyes, right? Complicated eyes, because they're so small, right? So then his nose, right? So we can just see like big nostrils here, right? And you gotta shadow these up. Just make them look a bit darker, like they're holes, okay? And then these come down in the middle and join the other side, dip down like so. And then his nostrils come out from here, like the skin for the nostrils. They're quite wide again. So like they line up with the inside of his sort of iris there. So quite wide around there. Same on this side. This one not as wide for some reason. Keep it around like so. And then he has like the bridge of his nose sort of here. Quite a wide nose. You don't want to draw too much on a nose. Just these sort of light sort of sections just on the side, maybe. But I think that's all I'll do on his nose because sometimes you can ruin a nose by drawing too much of it. 
So I think I'll leave it there. Right, so his mouth. Very, very big mouth. And big teeth. Big smile. Okay. So, top lip, right? Quite big. So it comes up, down in the middle, across, down the side here. Maybe you could have one of those lines on the lip there like that. So a big smile, right? So he's got like this sort of big smiling line. There. When his mouth, his top lip comes across. Top lip there. You know, this could have like some lip lines and skin lines and stuff on it if you want. And then the bottom lip bumps across here as well. Down in the middle, back up to there. So tricky enough to draw that now. And then his bottom lip. Dumping across this way to the side of his mouth. Okay, so all teeth inside here. So we can just see like a shadow in the corner. And then his teeth, right? So the easiest way to do this is to do like this sort of V in the middle, right, for his gums. Okay, and then this would be the center two teeth. And then these come around. And we got these V's for his gum line that come across. Like that, right? And then you just draw the teeth out from there. These very big, sort of white, pearly white teeth. So you're just adding sort of gum lines in there. And then the teeth. And you can just see like a little suggestion of his teeth then down here. But much smaller, obviously. There's like a black shadow in this section here, a bit of a gap. Okay, it's a real big smile. You'll notice his mouth like is right underneath there at the edge of his mouth okay so facial hair like we've got like a little shadow or is that facial hair there a bit of goatee or something just underneath his chin and then like a line for his chin here so this is like hair it's all black. And then his chin has like facial hair on it, like a bit of a goatee or something. So his chin has this hair spikes. Coming along here. And it goes like the width of his mouth, sort of, right? So there's a little bit more on this side. It's about the same width as his mouth. OK, 
Okay. So proportions of things, right? So you can add some more details on his lip if you want as well. So proportions of things, say like this whole space is about the same as like his mouth, right? So eyebrows, because his head is tilted back, eyebrows to the bottom of his nose is about the same as bottom of the nose to his bottom lip, right? See that? So here to here is about the same as here to here. So this is halfway between the eyebrows and the bottom lip. Okay. And then you want to go down that space again. So here to here is about the same as there to there, down to the bottom of his beard. So you're sort of divided into thirds. One, two, three, right? Roughly speaking, two, three. This might go down a little bit further, but it's close enough. So that's kind of proportions you're dealing with. So then for his jaw, we can go up the side this way. So it's always tricky when you're drawing realistic humans. Right. So then this will curve around, go up towards his cheekbones, which do stick out quite a bit, right? So we've got his jaw here. Right. And then his cheekbone. So it kind of like comes out from like his eye and his forehead even. It's all connected, right? So with this, we've got this curve here. Right. And then he's got like a light sort of cheekbone area. And this goes down like on the side of his mouth there as well like skin lines and stuff. Mm, like a cheek, cheek line coming down from the nose there. So this cheekbone line goes up around his brow. Right, so it like joins his skull. It goes up that way. All right, and you could have some like brow lines just coming across here as well. So, ears are real low down, right? Because his head is tilted back. So his ear starts here, okay? And on this side as well. And then his earlobes are quite big. They stick out quite far. So, and they're kind of like skinny ears on top. And they kind of bump out down here. And just join his jaw sort of in here and on this side as well okay so quite unique ears I must say and then we have okay, actually they're like like line messies so this covers out this way and then his like ear lines. And he's not wearing earrings, but he has like those holes in his ears there. Okay. And that's roughly his ear shape. Okay, so then his head and his hair is shaved on the side, right? So it's relatively sort of straight. 
the one up this way. Come out from his ear. And then when we get sort of up around here, it starts to get a little bit bumpy, right? And then his hairline, so we've got like, it's, it's shaved. So basically, you know, you could do it like this way because it is a shaved head, right? It comes out a little bit. And it starts to go up this way. Around here and like, it's basically what I shaved. He can have a V taken out of it sometimes, and I think I'll do that just there. Not all the time, but sometimes. And then the top of his head just comes around here. And this can be bumpy because his hair is slightly longer on top, like a little bit longer. Okay, you can like textures and stuff on the hair if you want. Right. Just the bumps on his brow there. Okay, that's tricky. <laughs> so that's his face. And like you'll notice like his head is leaning back. So that's why this whole space is bigger than this. So and the ears are low down. So it's a different sort of perspective, but he's all, in all of his pictures, he holds his head like this. So he couldn't find one that was really like straight. But hey, it's good to learn how to draw different sort of things. Okay, so his neck, down this way, he's a real wide neck, strong dude. And then neck muscles, just going that way. Adam's apple, like so. And then the collar of his shirt, just here. His neck muscles actually go down a bit further, so he's a long neck. See like his collarbone maybe coming across here. Okay, and then like his shoulders, quite wide shoulders. On a male though, you're about head width. So if you measure the width of his face, that'll roughly bring you out to the edge of his shoulder where it starts to curve down. So you, for a male, what I mean is three heads would fit across, you know, one, two, and a third on this side. So his other shoulder. Roughly out here. So if I measured his face, brought that out, so that it'll start to sort of curve down this way. Yeah, and that'll give you his rough shoulder width. And then... French shirt has sort of a button on top here. Okay, and then we just have like this dark blue and blue section on this version of the French jersey anyway. This is, I think, from the previous World Cup, maybe not the most recent. And then, like, some armpit lines just here. And then we can add the Nike tick. There. And we do the French logo as well, so it's the rooster, so... 
We just got the beak. Then the neck sort of comes around. I'll fit in as much as I can. So, well, that's actually, this is the bottom of the comb and then the beak where the head is up. So we're back that way. And then we have the comb on top. And then the neck comes down. And the tail. Just some lines there. And the leg. And we got one star on this jersey. So this is obviously before they won the second. You can obviously do two stars if you want. If you're like a hardcore French supporter. And I'll just thicken up some of the edge just around his head here. Okay. Looks like him, I think. Hope it's helpful. Hope, hope well. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.